OK. So the first thing, ladies and gentlemen, is we have 5x squared minus 20 um, divided by 25x squared divided by x squared plus 6x plus 8 divided by x squared plus 10x plus 24. So in this example, what we need to do, yes, not right now. In this example, ladies and gentlemen, whenever we're having dividing, division problems, what we, the first thing we need to do is rewrite this as the product. That's like step number one. So I'm going to rewrite this as 5x squared minus 20 divided by 25x squared times x squared plus 10x plus 24 divided by x squared plus 6x plus 8. OK? Now, so step one is rewrite it as a product. Now this looks like the problem that we did last example. However, we can't divide anything out right now because, or use our rules of exponents, because everything is separated by, we have terms that are separated by addition or subtraction. Again, let me hit on the common mistake that people make, is they'll say, oh, let's divide out the x squareds. No, the x squareds have addition, they're separated by addition and subtraction. You can't do that. However, if we can rewrite them as a product, we can divide across addition and subtraction. So we look to every term and see what can we divide out for each term. So here, I can divide out a 5, right? So if I divide out a 5, I'm left with an x squared minus 4, which again is a difference of two squares, which I can factor even further. Does everybody agree with me on that? Did everybody see that? I factor out a 5. I'm left with 5 times x squared minus 4. Then I can factor the x squared minus 4 as x plus 2 and x minus 2, x plus 2, x minus 2. So therefore, I factor this to 5 times x minus 2 times x plus 2 divided by 25x squared. Multiply. Now, over here, we have two different trinomials. So going back to what we did last chapter is we have to know how to factor the trinomials. And remember, the trinomials is basically what two numbers multiply to give you 8, add to give you 6. What two numbers multiply to give you 24, add to give you 10. So over here, we're going to have um, x plus 4 times x plus 2. Where over here, we have x plus 4 times x plus 6. <coughs> did I flip them? Yeah, I did. Yes. OK. Um, hmm, not a lot factors out, does it? Hmm. Let me just make sure I didn't write it. I wrote it in there correctly. Huh? No, I'm just making sure that the problem is exactly how it is. Yeah, OK. That's fine. Which one? Oh. Oh, thank you. That makes more sense. OK. All right, so now what we look at this, there's a couple important things I want you guys to see. Excuse me, excuse me. I'm not done yet. So now what you guys can see is a cross multiplication. Do you guys see how by factoring, we have now separated expressions by multiplication? Do you guys see that? That's what's so important about factoring, is now, since everything is separated, now I can divide out x plus 2 over x plus 2. I can divide out x plus 4 over x plus 4. I can simplify 5 over 25, which is 1 fifth. Therefore, my final answer is going to be x minus 2 times x plus 6 all over 5x squared. Well, actually, that's it. And then again, I go back to my original problem and say, what can my constraints be? What could x not equal? Well, x cannot equal 0. And then I go back to my original denominators, where x cannot equal negative 6 and negative 4, because those were the denominators of the original problem. Okay.